Can I welcome the Minister to the House and to support this piece of legislation? Minister, the horse and greyhound fund, as we've heard, is, is controversial, and I understand and appreciate the sentiment of some of my colleagues here. Um, but I think it is important to put the context of this debate in that Sports Ireland have allocated 85 million for sport in our country, uh, which all of us would herald and promote and would support. And today we're announcing funding to a greyhound and horse industry that does provide jobs that does provide support, that does provide enjoyment, that many of us have an interest in, and I was the owner of a greyhound, or a part owner of a greyhound one time, a couple of times, and Senator Daly is right. Those of us who own animals and who own animals are absolutely concerned about the welfare during and after racing of the animal. And I would like, if we could in the debate, not divide and conquer, but base it on real facts. And we're basing it upon, a, in some parts, a programme that none of us would, con would, would condone what happened. We would condemn it out of hand by a minority, a rogue element. And I, I would agree with Senator Daly regarding the, the points made by Senator Riley. Uh, I think that they're well made. But let us ensure, Cahir, look, that we see the 50% increase the government have given in Budget 21 to animal welfare, allied to the work of, of Greyhound Racing Ireland in terms of traceability animal welfare, to support an industry, and Senator Boylan is right. There is a fundamental difficulty, and that's why the Indicon report was published. And if you read the Indicon report, it says that in Great Britain, New Zealand, Western Australia, and New South Wales, over the past decade, there's been a decline internationally in greyhound racing. And you are right. And I completely concur with you in this. The issue of animal welfare, Minister, is one that we universally must tackle. But we shouldn't demonise the industry by rogue elements. And that's the fundamental point. The other point I would make, Cahirlook, is, and I want to commend Councillors Eileen Lynch and David McManus for their work around greyhound welfare. And I'll make the point to members in the House here. I'll make the point to members in the House here. Stand, on, stand, on the, stand in the Curra on Derby Day, or stand over in, in, in Cheltenham on Gold Cup Day, or go over to Melbourne, or go over to Kentucky. Look at the acclaim the Irish horse receives. Breeding, competitiveness, winning, and our jockeys with them. And are we saying to an element, we want to get rid of all of that? I hope we don't. Minister, the Indicon report in the greyhound industry requires a root and branch reform. And I'm talking about in the context of Cork, with Cork Track and Yall. And I would hope, Minister, that as part of your remit, that we can look at how we can transform in a post-COVID world, or in a new world with COVID, the use of that track in Cork and Yall to promote it, to, to use it as a source of conferences, to become an income generating revenue for the greyhound industry to promote what we're talking about. And I'll finish on this, Cahirlook. To those who say there's been no change, look at the whole issue around animal welfare, the halfway house, the rehoming program, the financial incentive for rehoming of greyhounds, the foster to adopt scheme, the track financial support scheme, the phone line where people can phone confidentially welfare issues, the track financial support scheme for injuries in greyhounds, the education allowance being given, the code of practice for the care and welfare of the greyhound, all done, all being implemented. And as Senator Daly said, the traceability element is one we must pursue to the right to get it finished. But could I ask the members of the House, could I invite you all who are opposed to this piece of legislation, come down to Coolmore, Come down and talk to the owners of greyhounds and, and horses and, and see the, what it really means to us all. Please do that. Let's not demonise one another. This is a very important industry that our country requires, and we will make changes. We have made changes. Go to Margaret. Yeah, go to Margaret.